There is no workers' metropolis. There is only a workers' critique of the existing city. Arkazum believed that nowadays the urban phenomenon is the weakest point in the entire industrial system. The metropolis, once the traditional birthplace of progress, is today the most backward and confused sector of capital in its actual state. One is led to wonder if the modern city is nothing more than a problem which has not been solved. Arkazum was a design studio created in Florence, Italy in the 1960s by four architects and eventually two designers. It reinterpreted architecture for several reasons, including a social and cultural shift stemming from a disapproval of bourgeoisie influence over working class society, as well as the oppressive and constricting nature of architecture based upon government ideals. This movement began in Florence's School of Design. It was isolated from the popular design schools of the time, but it was also coupled with a reformed school program and a new young faculty, which of course provided for a vast amount of freedom to the students. Art and architecture were now being combined in ways that further explored the possibilities of architectural design. This, combined with an industrial boom and government indifference, provided the members of Architoon with the spark to investigate how society's needs could be involved in architecture. Arkazum wanted to provide common man, the individual, with the tools to inspire himself. They didn't feel that the government, the aristocrats of society, should dictate how people should live and thus how their surroundings should look. The city was therefore deconstructed into a very basic and quantified level. It was the removal of all that had existed and therefore all that had oppressed people that was their primary concern. Arkazum came up with several loud and intrusive designs for beds just to shake up traditional ideals and show what was truly possible. From their socialist beliefs, Arkazum created the No Stop City. It was an alternative to existing urban fabrics and provided for quantity over quality. A blank canvas-like design was implemented and it allowed the individuals of the city to create what they wanted, allowing the city to evolve and not from anything that had existed prior to that. Finally, the stage is set for anything. The potential of architecture is now limited only to the individual's imagination. There no longer exist the boundaries of the architecture of old.